Wow, welcome everyone. Today I have a special farming guide for last epoch. Now looking behind me, I have collected a lot of the mad alchemist ones, even at level P3, which I wasted. So in this video, I have prepared some special notes which I want to show you guys what are the ways of you getting more encounters with the Excel to Mage. So before I say anything, let's come over to this replay, and this has happened many times with me, and I really want to make this quick guide to provide you guys with a small simple trick. So once you teleport into the monolith for the echo, what you sometimes can notice is that there might be Excel mage at the gate. So right after killing it, you can then come back and redo the same echo. And this actually refreshes your encounter rate. And sometimes when it comes in, there's another one waiting for you at the gate. So effectively, you can be getting double or even triple encounter rate to get tons of more items just using this one simple trick. And yes, guys, I'm doing this multiple times. Each time I see the Excel Mage at the gate, I'll do it again. And each time I see it, I'll do it again. But sometimes, as you guys know, the encounter rate is not 100%. And sometimes it's encountered at elsewhere of the map. So I only use this method if I find the Mage at the gate. If I don't find the Mage at the gate, I'll just keep going and then do my echoes normally. So here's another demonstration. I'm basically going into the echoes as I'm farming my normal monolith, and whenever I see one of those Excel mage at the gate, I will kill it, then teleport right away. This does not cost anything, and this is less than 10 seconds of a fight and of a teleportation. I only do this one if the Excel mage is right at the gate. And as you can see here, I'm come back to the same echoes that I'm farming. Now sometimes as you come back, you might not see the Excel mage right away. And there are maps that just doesn't spawn those majors. But if you do find those majors, and let me show you fast forward a little bit. So as I was clearing out the echoes, I eventually found one of those majors at the end of the gate. And this again doubles my effectively encounter rate to two per map. And this can be very good if you're looking for those items for your warlock, or maybe selling those items in the marketplace. Now on the topic of selling those items on the marketplace, now that I have my falconer joining the merchant guild, you can see how much those items can be sold if you're just using this method and if you farm some of those items. So if you're in the merchant guild, you can be getting about 200,000 gold for 2 LP wand. You can be getting over 3 million gold for 3 LP wand. So even if you guys are not playing Warlock, not using this wand, you can still use the same method to get more encounter rate and also sell those items if you get it in the merchant guild. Now, if you guys are in the circle of fortune, don't worry guys, we also have tons of methods for getting higher rates and also higher legendary potential. So let's briefly come over to my notes. Yes, I even screenshotted the current price to just show you guys this simple trick is worth it even if you're not trying to use this item. Even if you're finding those items to sell or keep it for your warlock, it's actually really good. So the first tip I have for you guys is you want to avoid arena echoes. Those echoes does not have excelled majors. So what I want to show you guys is, let's come over here and let me show you guys the arena echoes. So sometimes what you're going to see is, as you progress through the echoes, you can see the stability. This one is 48 to 146. And what you're going to see is, echoes like this one will go, only get 43 to 93. And I know this is an arena echo without going into this. This was actually shared to me by my friend Royal NZ. So you can notice there is a disparity between amount of stability that is given to you through the echoes. And the arena echoes always give the lowest amount. Actually, it actually says arena over here. I'm <laughs> pretty silly. So yes, I usually look at the stability, but you can see the arena over here. You want to avoid arenas because they don't give any of the majors. They also give low stability and also takes way longer to clear. Now the second two points are the method I revealed to you guys earlier. If I go into any of the echoes, there is an Excel mage at the door, or maybe one to two steps away, I will kill it, then teleport back, and then I continue my monolith. So let me show you guys a demonstration over here. I don't think I'll encounter one of the mages right away. But this is what I do if I encounter one, right? Maybe we encounter one. <laughs> let's see. No. So let's say if it's at the door. I come here, I kill it. After killing it, I teleport back, and then this actually refreshes the echo, so there is another chance of encountering another mage at the door. Now, I don't recommend refreshing the door non-stop, but rather we're refreshing... Oh, I found one again. Maybe you can refresh the door non-stop. <laughs> so let me kill it, and let's see if we get something good out of it. I actually forgot my buttons as I'm recording. Oh, nothing great. So yes, well, technically you can start refreshing those mages at the door. I don't know if actually this works. But for my method, I don't really want to just farm the mages, right? I'm actually farming the entire monolith. 
and to do so this just gives me additional convenience giving us double the chance of encountering those mages as you reset your door and coming over to the game no i didn't find it as a mage well the demonstration is not bad you can encounter quite a few of those at the door and if you just reset your echoes this doubles your rate of encounter and also gives you more chance of getting better items now something to be noticed over here having higher corruption and also higher higher item rarity rate also helps so i'm currently sitting on 800 corruption with my warlock yes i'll be updating the warlock guide for you guys for plus 800 to 1000 corruption or even higher you can see my item rarity is 860 or 890 of 870 and this will give me better chance of getting higher unique items with higher legendary potential which will sell for more gold now in terms of target farming some of my viewers also reminded me that this can also work now i have not tested this but i think they are they have some merits so the first thing is you want to find a blessing that gives you percentage increased chance of wound for the mad alchemist wound now this only works if you really want this item and where is my over here it is over here so this is actually coming from the blood the frost and also the death this increased one drop rate will give you a higher chance because the mad alchemist will also drop other items and if you get in the round this one can be sold for a lot of gold or you can use this one for your warlock now finally guys, if you're in the circle of fortune and if you're looking for prophecies, it is possible that you look for some prophecies that gives you wound. And by killing mad alchemists and also by going with wound, I can't find one right away. So this may be giving you another chance of getting some higher legendary potential. Now it's not tested. And maybe this was a case I got my legendary 3 potential one, which I wasted when I was noob. I was really early stage of the game. I just crafted randomly, which I wasted this one. Really, really bad idea. So that's a mistake. So it is possible that I was told by some viewers, if you're in the circle of fortune and buying prophecies or targeting prophecies by killing the exalt mage, and this might give you a higher chance of getting the round. And this can be really good if you get more telescopes that gives you two times or four times more reward, as we mentioned in the previous video with target farming using Monolith and also Circle of Fortune. Now, if you guys are looking for the notes, we have a collective notes over here with all the our last epoch collection guide. And this one is a part of it, just coming over to the just coming over to the shared doc, and you can scroll down and also see those notes over here. And you also get to see the current price for the items, which I'll be updating for you guys for the Merchant Guild. So in the future, as we're looking to build and also as we're looking to craft in different you know, setups, we'll look at how much it will cost to buy those items in the Merchant Guild as well. Now, before we finish, I'll show you guys a collection of replays, which are really short of me going for the Mad Ox run using this method. Now, do keep in mind, sometimes it will work. So other times, after you resetting the echoes, you might still not be able to find it. And here I deliberately cleared an echo, but I kept going to find more Excel mages, and that was not optional. You just want to clear your echoes, and if you don't see it, just keep going. This is just a bonafide method that takes less than 10 seconds to give you guys more encounters for those mages. Now before we finish, if you guys enjoy those last epoch guides, builds, and also tips, make sure you subscribe for more builds and also guides to come. And all of the notes will be available in the links below. I have collected tons of notes for last epoch as we make more guides. And links will be available for you guys to have a look and also, you know, just to read up on the things we talk about in the video. So yes, please subscribe and also stay tuned for a lot more last epoch content. And if you guys have any tips, any advice on the game, I'm still quite new to the game, so feel free to let me know in the game or in Discord so we can be learning together with you guys with more experience.